Campus and community members at the University of Maine in Presque Isle learned all about journeying to the stars yesterday. NASA astronaut Pamela Melroy spoke at the university, and I met up with her this morning to learn what life is like outside of Earth. Many people have dreamed of being launched into orbit. For Pam Melroy, it's a reality. She's logged more than 900 hours in space. My first mission was before humans were even living aboard the space station. So it was a very different experience. You, know, you open the door to the hatch, you go in, you do your business. It's a little bit like visiting a hotel room. Now, people live on the space station 365 days a year. And that's not the only thing that's changed during Melroy's career. Now, space is about international cooperation. No country has the money to sustain a program like Apollo anymore. So we partner with other countries to do science together. She says being in space is like being in a magic place. You feel a little bit like Harry Potter. I can lift enormous objects. I could lift a, a sofa up with just one, one hand and in fact just a fingertip. The U.S. space program has not been back to the moon since 1972. But Melroy says around 2020, NASA hopes to send a crew back. And then in about 25 years, the goal is to send the first human beings to Mars. And so that means some student in school today, between the age of about 5 and 25, is going to be the first person on Mars. Intense, busy, complicated, and overwhelming are words all used by Melroy to describe the work astronauts do in space. But she says coming back to the Earth has its own difficulties. Gravity begins to press down on you. You feel heavier and heavier. And just lifting your arm feels incredibly difficult and like you're doing a, a very serious workout. It's a workout she spoke to students, staff and community members about yesterday at the University of Maine in Presque Isle. It was the opportunity to talk to students about careers in math and science, to encourage them to do that, uh, to open their eyes to all the different possibilities that math and science can take them to. An opportunity Melroy hopes many youngsters will take advantage of. Very cool. Very cool to learn about that. I bet that is some kind of trip. I know. I can't imagine. Boy, you, you see views like uh, the, the Grand Canyon here, but to see mm -hmm. Earth from the moon or out of space is uh, Yeah. She said there's barely words. I, I believe it. it. I believe it.